guys, welcome back to Gavin's Garage. Okay, today we're gonna take a quick look at the Briggs & Stratton P4500. This is a 4500 generator with a 3700 running model. It has the quiet power technology, better word for the eco mode on the other generators. If This one has four plugs, RV ready, two USB. It is a sine wave generator, so you get that clean power. Okay, let's go ahead and get the generator up here and take a closer look at it. This generator right here is a unique generator. It did not share the frame with anything else. It's 100% for Briggs and Stratton. I haven't seen it anywhere else. If you've seen it somewhere else, please correct me. But um, you have your start and fuel shut off on this side, your start button. This is your activation switch to start it. You got your multi-function display right here. This is your oil access door. So you'd open this up right here and this is where you put your oil in. we do that in a minute. It has not been added. Here's your recoil starter, which is cool. Your handle is like a suitcase style handle. So it's on this side. It's pretty unique. Now on this side right here, which would be the front. You have the uh, little intake right here to cool the generator. But if you look right here, you have another intake right here. This intake is only for the engine. This is the air intake. I'm gonna pull this off and show you what I mean. This generator gets all its air from the outside. Nice, cool, but what I'm trying to say, it doesn't get the uh, air from the inside, that hot engine and everything in there, it's getting it from the outside. So that should keep this generator running a little cooler. Okay. On this side right here, this is your little battery compartment. We'd have to take this out to uh, connect the battery. You got your RV plug, so it's RV ready. You have one, two, so that's one, two, three, four, 20 amp plugs. You got your dual USB. They all have cover. Even the resets have covers. This is your ground plug right here. Yeah. This side right here is where you get your air filter. So let me go ahead and take this off so I can show you the air filter. Before I take this off, there's the back side. It does have a uh, spark arrestor in there. So that's pretty cool in your exhaust. 5.5 wheels, nice big wheels. And your gas tank. I think it's 3.4, 3.5 gallons. Okay, let's go ahead and open this up. You got two screws on this side. And then you just kind of pull it out. This little snaps so you just pull out. Right here, just pull those out. Okay guys, this is what I'm talking about right here. The air filter, I already removed uh, some of the screws. This air filter, it has a little, uh, let me take this. That's this is your primary filter. So you see? Okay, so it has a little uh, piece right here. So you can see the air going up in here, but it gets its air from the outside. Okay, from this. So this air filter, this goes like this. So you got a pre-filter and then there's a secondary cartridge style filter. You pull this out and here's your second filter. It goes in here. So it's pretty cool. This just slides in real easy. You don't have to take anything out. It's smart. You got your spark plug right here, a little oil sensor, carburetor. Real, 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 well put together. Yeah, you got your battery compartment. Let's pull that one out. Okay, this is your little battery compartment right here. Okay, so we're gonna connect the uh, battery. It just, it comes tape, let's pull the tape out. Connect these two together. This point, you're good. You're live. All 
All right, I got your battery in. The oil. 10.30. Oh, wrong side. Okay, open your oil door. Get your oil dipstick off. All right, we got our oil up. Go ahead and install the oil door. Get that closed. Put this one back. Oh, I need to put the screws for the air filter. Put those screws back. Be very careful when you're putting those screws for the air filter. If it falls in there, you're gonna have a hard time getting them out, so be real careful. The sound dampener for this is real thin. Wish it was a little thicker. Okay guys, we got the generator set up on the grass, the exact same spot we did the other 4500s. We're gonna get the first start, I'm gonna let it warm up a little bit, then I'm gonna do a sound DB test on it, the decibel test, and see how that goes, okay? Okay guys, so you got the uh, Briggs and Stratton 4500. In order to start this one, you would turn your fuel on, then you'd push this once, then you press and hold, release. And that's the starting procedure for the 4500 Briggs and Stratton. Okay guys, I got the uh, Briggs and Stratton 4500 running and I'm around. Okay guys, we're about 20 feet away. Let's go ahead and turn eco mode off. Get back to 20 feet. Right about 59, 60. You can see it's a real quiet generator. Even with eco mode off. Let's turn it back off. Yeah, it's super quiet. Uh, 57. Okay guys, this has been the review of the Briggs and Stratton 4500. Guys, if you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and don't forget to push that subscribe button. Um, we're gonna be testing this generator on the next video and put it up against another 4500 and see how it compares, okay? Um, I wanna thank you guys for watching my channel and thank you for pushing that play button as usual. Have a nice day, bye.